here on Stadium Court, Stefan Edberg took the first set in a tie break. Michael Chang is up a break in the second set. And Edberg has taken a toilet break during this changeover. So we can update you on what else has happened today on Stadium Court. Michael Stieck, the Wimbledon champ, a number three seed with a fourth set battle against Derek Rostagno. Yvonne Lendl won as well. Stieck and Lendl will play in the quarterfinals. Javier Sanchez, unseeded player, into the quarterfinals. He will play the winner of this match. And now ready for play with Chang serving. Michael really gets into this two-hander down the line. Watch, he kind of lunges at the ball. Good body work there. We are seeing a new Michael Chang here tonight. He is hitting out. Another angle. The question is, do you think he's going to keep playing like this against most players, or is it just set up like this to play against Edward? I think this is a new style for everybody. Well, what would you say is different from Friday night to tonight? Is there something different the way Chang is playing? Yeah, he's just definitely coming in a lot more. No question about it. Winning points at net. But we already saw beginnings of that mm -hmm. game during the McEnroe match. I hope he continues to, to think offensively as he's been doing tonight. He'll make some great strides in his game. this approach shot now Edward gets into it and he stays down the line Michael only has about a foot to hit that ball in and he did it 3-1 Chang in the second Edberg, not an easy person to lob over at the net. Covers the lobs very, very well. points on every one in this game. 40-15. Well, that's the other thing about serving and coming in as much as Michael has. He's going to save some energy for sure because he's had problems with the cramps and with his legs. 
in long matches, Ted. And even if he plays five sets with this style, he's not going to have as much exhaustion. And by being able to throw some variety into his own game, he throws off the rhythm of Stefan Edberg, who likes to charge all the time. But he's had to pass Michael a couple times at the net. At 40-30 in the previous game, Edberg had a pretty easy volley, but pushed it a bit. And look, there, the ball is long. Michael Chang soared long, contested it, but the point went to Stefan Edberg. Yeah, you can see it on that replay. It definitely was behind the baseline. So great for Stefan Edberg. Chang serving at 3-2, up a break, second set, 15 long. They'd always say in a five-set match. As we look at this last point, Michael trying to get this ball out of court. Come on, go out, but it drops in. They say in a five-set match, the bad calls even out over a five-set match. I'm not sure I agree with that. What do you think? Vince? I always want to know who made that line up <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because I don't think he played tennis. <laughs> now covering net so well. Great consistency by Edberg. And great Grand Slam results except for here. And he has a path of unseated players to the semifinals. The winner of this match plays unseated Javier Sanchez in the quarters. set with service breaks. Edberg and Chang met in the finals at Roland Garros in 89. Chang coming off the remarkable victory over Lendl wins. And this is Edberg's reaction. <laughs> true on young, probably true on lucky. I, would think I don't know about the thinking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would think that that has changed now. Chang is a thinking man's player, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Most definitely.
second time now that Michael has gotten his top spin lob over Edberg. He waits till the last minute. Watch where this ball drops in. That is a great top spin lob. Tremendous half volley. One of Edberg's better serves. Michael got it down low at his feet. But he just half volleyed it. No problem. down from the MetLife blimp and they fill the stadium court. Talk about working for points. Edberg really having to work hard for every point now. Stretched out. Edberg serving for 4-3. MetLife Flip, one of the world's largest airships, measuring 194 feet long and 67 feet high. The MetLife Flip providing our aerial views of the National Tennis Center tonight. Well, you say you want more MacGyver? You missed it tonight, folks. Sorry about that. But you'll get it starting Monday, September 16th. You can see MacGyver weeknights at 7 and 11 p.m. here on USA. A double pop of MacGyver. Right here, we've got Michael Chang serving at 15 love. Out. Hasn't been very much to separate these two so far. times a player goes through that routine. The little routine that Edberg does over the course of a, of a Grand Slam championship. Getting ready to receive, sir. I mean, how many thousands of times he'll do this. get up from the breakfast table and do that, do you think? <laughs> Is it just the force of habit? Yeah, it's interesting. Each player has his own way of, of getting ready to receive serve. Stefan has a little quick step in there after he does this. Then he takes those two or three quick steps. But you're trying to get some momentum going. You're trying to you pick up the rhythm of the serve itself, too. 
a lot of times when you get nervous, you get flat-footed, and you're not moving well into the ball, so that prevents you from getting tight, constantly moving. Coming in now, it's a crunch backhand volley. Michael on the full run goes behind Edberg. You see Stefan trying to cover up the line from another angle now. The forehand, now watch him take off, sets up with the two-hander and then rolls it cross court. He is back. That is just great anticipation by Michael Chang. Behind Michael Chang. Well, the puncher being Ed Berg, winning 49 of 75 points at the net, 65%, and the counter puncher, Chang, with 18 passing shot winners. That, does that tell us anybody's got an edge? Or? That it's about dead even. Is that right? Okay. I noticed, Barry, you passed on that one. Well, <laughs> one of the differences tonight as we look at Tony Pickard is that Michael has won a lot of points at net. Mm -hmm. Didn't show up in that last graphic, but I'm here to tell you that's the <laughs> truth. <laughs> for 5-4 in the second. From the National Tennis Center in Flushing Meadows, the United States Open swinging towards week two. The men's field moving into the quarterfinals. This will be the fourth quarterfinal spot to be filled. Lendl, Steech, and Javier Sanchez are already there. Mm. No, finally one of those lobs falls short. But he had Edberg where he likes him to be. But I think Michael's missed a couple because Edberg has been effective in tracking a few of them down. This time he had Edward committed, but just couldn't clear his head. You guys feel the extra pressure serving a 4-5 game? Is there any difference in serving? Oh, yeah, defense? definitely. I mean, that's when the, the heat is on. you got to be ready to go. And as a receiver here, Edward senses that he can finish off this set and then start the next set on his own serve. Chang tactic moving in. I would expect that Edberg would have been coming in on the kitchen sink, putting the pressure on Chang serving down 4 5. Very smart play by Michael. There you get a good shot of how that side linesman he has to look in from the outside in. He's trying to make sure Edberg does not get in his way there. on now going to change rackets I didn't hear a string break but uh, 
It may have. He went over real quickly as soon as that point ended and picked up another racket. talked about how often Michael Chang has come in tonight. Here's a look at the net points won. Edberg in 81 times has won 54 points. Michael obviously not as much, but he's been in 25 times. That's a lot of times for Michael Chang to be in a net. He won 16 of them. About 23 more than he would have this time last year. Yeah. is so quick up at the net. Great pair of hands. He gets down. He just barely lunges at that volley. Gets it over the net. Shuffle steps. Dives for it. And Michael cannot get the reflex volley back. There's another shot of him coming in. Split steps at the service line. Lunges to get it. The quick little shuffle step. And then he just barely gets it back. And Michael had a reflex volley and couldn't make it. Talked about the Edberg backhand volley. That a great example of it. He just anticipated, moved his weight into it. Michael get up to that net back quickly and knocks off the overhead. Looks a little like Boris Becker on that. The guy is playing a different style of tennis out here tonight. has to be thus far the quality of tennis we're seeing from Edberg is the best we've seen from him in several years here. Absolutely and he's hitting it at the right time here because he has not had a great summer. just went up to me. Fantastic match of tennis. Both players playing just great. Chang is really proving something to himself between McEnroe and Edberg. He's playing point for point tonight with the number two player in the world.
plays worked really well for Edberg tonight, going behind Michael Chang instead of volleying into the open court. Chang loves to go for those passing shots when he's on the dead run. Yeah. Well, he takes off quicker than most players, too, Vitas, doesn't he? So if he's going to make his move, it's as soon as he, he hits the first ball. So you can catch him, if you, but you've got to hit a heck of a shot. Edberg has been able to save so many more of these top spin lobs than John McEnroe was. Just been moving so well at the net, and he's anticipating it very well, getting a feel for when Chang's going to try the top spin lob, almost suckering him into the play a couple times. Would, would that be the result of scouting the match Friday night? For I think he's played him enough times. He knows that it, when he's going to throw up a couple top spin lobs. Oh. The fourth round men's action will conclude with Jim Courier, this year's French Open champ, in the number four seed, meeting the number 14 seed, the wily Spaniard Emilio Sanchez. That will be our feature match tomorrow, 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific on USA. I remember seeing Courier and Sampras win that Italian doubles several years ago, and they had not done that much at that point, but boy, they were a tough team. Chang held his serve with a struggle at 4-5. He's in a similar situation serving at 5-6. Oh. touch shots good approach shot down the line now he gets in on his toes look at the racket face come back and it bounces around little body english yeah and his technique is so good on the volley keeps the racket out in front and a drop volley is not one of his standard shots he doesn't hit it too often third ace for chad
set point for Stefan Edberg. Tony Pickard, Stefan's coach, obviously pleased. This is the best we've seen Stefan play for a long time. At he the is, U.S. Open, yes. Yeah, he is really moving into that ball well. Hit that hey, last easy, approach easy, shot easy, about easy, as well as you can hit it. Thank you. Because Michael Chang has played some fine tennis here tonight. Yeah. Very, very well. And he's showed us a lot more diversity than I've seen in the past from, mm -hmm. from Michael. And I don't think, Vitas, do you, that if he had stayed back more and not played so aggressively, he I think Edward would better. have steamrolled. The way he's I playing agree. tonight, he would have steamrolled. Yeah, I mean, the score wouldn't have been nearly so close as we, as we see it here. Michael Chang, I guess this week has shown us to never say never. And this never. match is far from right. over. That's, that's true. true. We have seen but all this week. But still talking about now two sets down to the number two player in the world. Well, you know, it's only 10.30, guys. I mean, we never get out of here. Usually till around quarter of a two, so we got a long way to go. And you wonder bag. why the, the, our wonderful technicians from CBS and USA love you so much, Barry. 